When you're close to someone, I mean, really close, you become similar. You laugh the same jokes, do the same things, eventually you just blur together. You become one living, breathing entity. And this type of thing is common for human beings. Two people become friends from a young age. And from this young age, they are inseparable. They'll act up in class, or go out to the park and play football. When they're older, they might go out drinking. And people view this as normal and healthy. As until they get in your way. Until they interrupt your day-to-day -day pleasantness. Two kids are swap seat during the class. Or they're going into the park yelling. Two people are on a Saturday night so drunk that they can't even stand. A black mark on your quaint little town. You get the police involved. But even through this, they stick together. Even with all these obstacles, they are one. All these people telling them no, just push them that much further to acting out. They enjoy doing it. They enjoy it because it feels good. It lets them escape. But it doesn't stop at drinking underage or in public. It goes much further than that. They get the police involved more and more, get, get told off more often than one night, one half of this being getting into a fight with a pain. Yes, they've argued before, and it's been bad. But this, this is it. The product of all their anger and aggression is overflowing and exploding outwards. Then this half goes out, alone, gets drunk, alone, passes down, dies, alone. <laughs> no, no, fuck! No! Then, the other half is left alone. They've never been this alone. No one's ever seen them this alone. Without their friend. Without the other half. Without the brother. Twin.